Thank you so much. So first of all, how many of you know anything about the genome? Raise your hands. So there are a few, but not very many. So don't worry about it, because my talk will be slowly going into the, into the topic. And I have the same talk, talk essentially, to uh, classes, to uh, audiences which are full of biologists or audiences which have no biologists. So last, year, last week I was in IBM uh, uh, and I gave a talk uh, to the biologists. And today I'm giving a talk to a more generic audience. But don't worry about it because I can slow, go very slowly at the beginning and very fast at the end and uh, it will be all right. So first of all, uh, a little bit of background. So uh, I think you have uh, heard about this uh, project, which is called uh, the Genome Project, which was uh, the, the Human Genome Project. It was uh, ongoing at the beginning of the century. Uh, so this was the, the results of this project were announced by uh, Tony Blair and Bill Clinton in 2000. And essentially, this was the first time that the human genome was sequenced. And uh, there was a lot of cooperation between engineers, chemistry, chemistry, biology, physics, ethics, and informatics. We are there, but we are not alone in this, in this uh, area. And uh, you can see here the cost of uh, sequencing the genome and how it has gone down in the last uh, 15 years. So you see that we start from a very top uh, level, which is the cost that, uh, of this project of uh, 100 million. It was done in, uh, in a variety of labs. Uh, each one was taking a, a little portion of the genome in order to sequence it. And we go down to this point here, which is uh, less than 1,000. And we will go down to another point in 2018, which will be less than 100. That's what Illumina is telling us. Illumina is the big company behind it. What is the turning point here? So what happened in this point? Nobody knows. Yes? I'm sorry? Next generation sequences, that's the name of the technology. So essentially, at this point, they started to sequence the genome in a such a fast way that uh, it is uh, diverging from the, uh, the Moore law which has a lot of consequences for us, because uh, if you desert from the Moore law, essentially all our computing technology is going to be very much uh, under challenge. Huh? And uh, I put here the face of Alan Turing, because Alan Turing, you know, is uh, our, one of uh, the most uh, prestigious members of our community. And what Alan Turing was uh, supposed to do? Well, he was essentially supposed to, he got this reputation because he was ca capable of uh, deciphering uh, uh, the, the, the code that was used by the Germans during the Second World War. We have all seen this uh, movie, uh, Enigma. So essentially, we are 